It's Lush is Lush for Big Boys Neighborhood, and I am kicking it here with my homie, Chris Brown. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing really good. Yeah, that's good. Looking good. You're looking good, too. Thank you. I like the necklace. Oh, it's a little something. Just look, don't make sure none of those go off, okay? Okay, these fake. I can't. I like you, Chris. We don't have <laughs> Yeah, exactly. All right, so it's Cali Christmas, and Christmas is right around the corner. What does Chris Brown want for Christmas? For Christmas, what I want, I just want to be home, you know, and just be able to be with family and get some good food. Okay, if you could be on anybody's Christmas list, and I mean Oprah, Jay Z, whoever, whose Christmas list does Chris Brown want to be on? Um, my mama's. Come on, yeah. you know you want to be on some. There's somebody. There, you're like Little Wayne's or. Well, I wouldn't want to be on a guy's Christmas list. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I probably would have to go with like. Like Paula Patton, but sorry, sorry, Robin. That's that like Robin's mom. Okay. Way, but well, that was gonna be my next question, how actually. You? How, how about you? What you you want to be on my Christmas list? I give good gifts. Good. I really do. I like hand make mine. Oh, like you? macaroni necklaces dipped oh. in paint. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you could have any celebrity waiting for you under a mistletoe come Christmas morning, who would it be? You. Okay. Stop. You know, stop being nice. Stop you now. I saw the, the fishnets and I've seen the the leather and it's just. It takes me to another place. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. So Christmas Day, we got a big game in Los Angeles. Yeah. L.A. taking on Miami Heat. Who's Chris Brown rooting for? You know what? Like I was, I was gonna be like the bandwagon and go with the Heat. You know, I was, I was rooting for the Heat, but I always was a Lakers fan. Like you saw how whack they were, and you're like, I'm gonna stick with Lakers. I'm still, I still got faith in them. I think they need to get their rhythm and, and get it together, but I think they can get it. But L.A. definitely is my team. I'm picking. When you think of L.A. and you think of Christmas time, like, what comes to mind? Just top of your head. Uh, heat. Heat. Because <laughs> uh, I'm from Virginia. Every Christmas is snow, freezing cold. But out here, you only get, like, cold nights. And so everything else is real beautiful outside. And so it's, it's always like a sunny, sunny Christmas for you guys. So L.A. is kind of known for their good food and the shopping. If I could give you a gift certificate for, like, I don't know, 500000 to go anywhere, eat anywhere, and shop anywhere, where would it be in L.A.? In L.A.? Um... Wow. I like Philippe Charles. I like, um, it's a couple of different places. It's, I don't know the names off the top. I just go there all the time. So. In the shop? In the shop. I'll be in the Belly Center all the time. <laughs> so <laughs> I go there all on Melrose and Fairfax and stuff. So. What's Chris Brown's New Year's resolution? New Year's resolution to, um, I was just thinking of this a couple of days ago. I was like, what do I really want to like push for? Just to be the best at what I do. And That's what you think. Just continuously never put out whack music. Well, that is a perfect segue because you've just released your mixtape, which is in my zone too. Mm -hmm. Chris, this is like an album. Do you realize how good this is? And this, is, I, I mean, what is your reaction when you hear everybody else's reaction? Like, man, Chris has got a good mixtape out. I think it, I think it's kind of just a part of me giving back as a as an artist. I think a lot of the times the artist always focuses on what's happening to them and oh that illegal downloading and all this is killing us and killing us which it is but sometimes it's, it's not about the money you know what I'm saying and I know me being in my situation and, and have having a road to redemption and the whole nine being able to listen to people and, and and see people's reaction to genuine music is is what I'm all about so me being able to give them some free stuff first and giving them a taste of, of my album then they can already kind of like I'm almost selling it for them like so they get all the free music they want and so they, if I don't put anything whack out then they can get out now I've noticed that a lot of people follow you on Twitter you got like a million plus followers but for the people that don't follow you on Twitter what do you want to tell all the fans who are celebrating Chris Brown celebrating um just thank you for all the support man everything everything uh, comes from you guys uh, the radio everything everybody's just been real supportive I know uh, Rough road, but you know, you guys, you guys brought me to all this, so I appreciate all y'all for deuces, all the all the support you did for every record that's out now, um, all the responses to the mixtapes, good or bad, I, just, I appreciate them, so thank you. You just brought, sorry, I had to ask you, you just brought to mind deuces, that remix with, I mean, it's like an all-star team, it's like an all-star basketball team almost, yeah. but when it comes to rap, how did that come together when you got like Drake and Kanye and Andre 3000, we haven't heard from him forever. Yeah, um, well, it was just a shot in the dark, like it's one of those things that you know, you kind of already think in your head, like, oh, I don't think I'm going to get him on there. But, but it's like a wish list. Yeah, and I just asked, and I, I, I talked to Drake, and I was like, yo, get on this record. He's like, man, let me, I was waiting to do a record with you anyway. So we got on that, Kanye got on it. T.I. T.I., T.I., me and T.I. actually were in the club, and we was like, yo, let's do the remix to it. And Drake was in the same spot, so we kind of coordinated it then. And um, Andre, that was just the hardest one. That was like, I thought we would have to kind of like beg. But we was just like, yo, can you want to get on this record? And 
he just gets on whatever he likes at the moment. So. I think mean, anytime an artist hears that album, like that song, that record, I mean, it's amazing. I appreciate it. Can't wait to see you do it live. Thank you. And of course, let me get a what's up, big boy. What up, big boy? <laughs> it's Chris Brown for Big Boy's Neighborhood right here on Power 106.